Well, World Environment Day activities on the island of Tobago are set to take place. To tell us all about that, we have Director Environment Linford Beckles and Senior Technical Coordinator Abdallah Chadban. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Rena. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. Uh, Mr. Beckles, my first question, when exactly is World Environment Day? What are the plans for the celebration? Okay. Um, World, World Environment Day is um, observed every year on June 5th. Um, this year, we in Tobago, we are going to have a series of activities to commemorate that, that particular day. Um, one of the first activities we're going to have is that we're going to have a no styrofoam day. Um, this particular activity is pursuant to um, our policy directive from the Tobago House of Assembly. Of Assembly. Um, if you recall, um, sometime last year, the Assembly would have um, passed a motion to phase out styrofoam yes. uh, in the food and beverage industry. Um, that was primarily because of the environmental and the health impacts associated with styrofoam. Um, we this year are going to partner with um, people in the private sector, particularly in two communities that are very important to us in terms of tourism. That is Crown Point and the beautiful village of Charlottesville. And we are going to work with the restaurants in that part, in those, those localities to um, promote the use of alternatives to styrofoam packaging. All right, that sounds great. So what can we expect on the agenda for that particular day, apart from the no styrofoam initiative? Well, um, on, that particular, on that particular day, um, well, during that particular week, sorry, um, we are going to have a symposium. And this symposium is going to focus on the green opportunity, the green economy, sorry, and a lot of opportunities that are available for us in terms of making money out of the bountiful gifts that nature has actually afforded us. In addition to that, um, we are going to launch a, a competition within the Division of Infrastructure, Quarries, and the Environment. And this competition has to do with the recycling of plastics. Um, essentially, what we're trying to do is to institutionalize the habit of recycling in Tobago. And I think that as an agency with, respect with, with, with responsibility for the environment, we have a responsibility to lead the way. And we are doing this by um, showing the example and um, institutionalizing that particular habit in our own division. Subsequently, we'd hope to um, involve other, other divisions of the Tobago House of Assembly and, of course, the general public. That sounds excellent. Mr. Chadband, what are some of the infrastructural projects happening in Tobago at this time? Well, currently we have the Lambo Bridge Number 1, which forms part of the Milford Road Bridge program. We have three large bridges we're doing. And um, the Lambo Bridge Number 1 is more or less just one month away from completion. Um, what we actually getting into now is putting things in place with Thompson River Bridge, which is bridge number two. Um, we are actually in completing the design stage now for uh, Smithfield Connector Road, um, which should help to alleviate some of the traffic that develops in Scarborough. It is also necessary to have this road implemented in quick time, as a new school is, a large school, um, is called for opening in, Scar in the Scarborough environs. Um, one of the large frontline projects we are going to start very soon, I mean, we've completed our negotiations with the MTS, who are going to manage the project on our behalf, is the rehabilitation of the Claude Noel Highway. Um, there are a large amount of sections on the highway that are showing signs of structural failure, and um, it's extremely dangerous having um, travelers swooping away from cracks, etc. So um, what we plan to do is have that resurface. That project will take four months, so it will complete within this fiscal year. Um, there are some coastal um, protection uh, initiatives that we have embarked on as well, and um, those are coming along, as, coming along pretty smoothly. That sounds great. Now, when we talk about diversification and ease of doing business, uh, how important would you say these projects are to the people of Tobago, especially as it pertains to the economy? 
All right. Uh, I will give you two projects I didn't put on the table that would um, help il illustrate the, the direction the division is going. Um, as you're aware, is the division of infrastructure quarries and the environment. Um, the quarries element, a uh, special purpose company was developed to help turn around an enterprise that we believe is very profitable, andesite rock, which is um, ranked in the top three materials that you could use for road construction and aggregate production. And um, I can state here that the Study Park Enterprise Limited in the month of March, and they only started operating in November, has already passed their break-even point and started turning a profit. What that does, because of the importance of andesite rock, um, it's something that is highly sorted after Caribbean-wide. Um, it's something that would allow us to um, bring in some foreign exchange. In fact, um, we've had interest from Guyana, and um, a lot of large projects, we, we are in collaboration with um, Trinidad, our counterparts, to see how we best we could fit the supply needs there. Um, so that's one way we could reduce our import bill because aggregates are imported for some of the larger projects. So we could, that's one way we could actually reduce the import bill. Um, currently, as we speak, I know on route, there are operators from the Ministry of um, Works, Transportation, um, Licensing Department. Um, we are continuously linked with them, and they are coming now to do some routine maintenance on our licensing department um, operations and systems. The licensing department was recently revamped and moved to a, a, a modified location, uh, much better amenities, um, better staff facilities. And um, it's really, really running smoothly. Um, I'll give you one example. It would have taken an inordinate amount of time to get you certified copies. That is something that now is happening within a matter of minutes. So those are just a few of the initiatives we have that are reaping good benefits. Great. Thank you so much for that information. Now, Mr. Beckles, you mentioned recycling of plastics and styrofoam and all of this. Now, would you say that uh, for these campaigns, uh, how important is it to introduce these campaigns to the three schools, actually? Well, um, it is critically important. I mean, conventional wisdom um, dictates that. Um, we have ongoing programs um, in the schools, and we execute a lot of these programs, not by ourselves, but in collaboration with some of the NGOs on the island, um, particularly Environment Tobago. Um, we have an ongoing initiative called the Clean School Initiative. And a lot of our recycling programs are actually executed, executed through that particular initiative. So um, we continue to engage the schools. Um, we, continue to, we continue to deepen our, our relationship with them. And um, based on what we have been seeing in terms of the, the results and so on, we are very, very encouraged um, by the initiatives that we, have, that we have implemented in the schools and the response of the students to those um, initiatives. So they have been successful so far, these initiatives, in terms of creating awareness. You are actually seeing uh, a, a difference. Okay, you did not hear me. Can, can you hear me now? No. Yes, okay, I can hear so, you Thank you. So my, my question was, uh, have these efforts been successful so far based on the responses that you've, been see, that, that you've seen so far? Yes, they have been... Um, a lot of those um, efforts have been have been have been successful. Um, we are seeing um, changes in some of the attitudes of the students um, at the schools and so on. Um, the environments at those schools are are much cleaner. Um, and uh, just recently, I met um, a couple of parents of um, some students at the Scarborough the Scarborough Methodist School, and um, they were indicating to me how um, the, the, the information that we gave to the students and uh, the impact that this information had on these students and so on, it actually resulted in a change in their waste management habits at their homes. So essentially what we have is children really leading the way and influencing the behaviors of their parents in a very positive way. So it's not just World Environment Day, it, it's actually a week of activities, correct? Yes, it's a, it's a week of activities. Could you remind us when it, it begins and when it ends and just a breakdown of, of the events for each day? Okay, sure. So um, World Environment is actually on the 5th of, of June. So on that day, we are going to have the No Styrofoam Day. 
And actually, we are getting um, significant interest from a lot of uh, private sector partners, and a lot of them wish to actually have a no styrofoam week. Um, on the 7th of June, we are going to have the, the, styro the, the symposium, which is going to be held at the Mount Irving Bay Hotel. Uh, this symposium is being held in, co in collaboration with the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. And again, um, it's going to focus on the green, the green economy and oppor economic, economic opportunities that will come out of that. Um, and during that week as well, we are going to be launching the um, plastic recycling um, competition within the Division of Infrastructure, Quarries and the Environment. Um, while, this is, uh, while this is a single event, uh, we hope to build on the success of, of this particular event um, to institutionalize you know, the habit of recycling within the division and by extension, the rest of the Tobago House of Assembly and the Tobago community. Wow, a lot of preparations and plannings, I would imagine, would, would have gone into to getting this off the ground. Yes, um, significant preparation. Um, the staff of the Environment Department is relatively small, um, but uh, we are not alone. Um, mm -hmm. We have assistance from other divisions of the Tobago House of Assembly, um, including the Division of Tourism, um, the Division of um, Agriculture, and of course, we have our private sector partners. Um, one important partner is the Crown Point Community Partnership Association, which is really uh, a group of business persons um, in the Crown Point area. And of course, we have the NGOs, the environmental NGOs, um, supporting this particular initiative and so on, and assisting us with the planning. Great. Now, Mr. Chadban, what are your closing comments? Also, how can we reach you for further information? All right. Um... I guess we usually do things officially through the office of the administrator, but I have no problem off here sharing my personal, my cell phone contact, uh, work contact information. And, um, there's no problem um, providing any follow-up service you all have uh, or that you all will need from us. Um, closing comments. Um, the division continues to work assiduously to make sure that we provide the island with the necessary infrastructure developments um, required to keep us stable and to move us forward. Um, there are many programs that we're rolling out. Um, road resurfacing that's going to start as well. Um, there are lots of things I haven't mentioned due to time constraints, but um, mm -hmm. I would like to just let the nation know that um, they're in good hands and um, we will continue to do our part despite the fiscal challenges we're faced with. Well, we'd like to thank you so much for the efforts that you all are making. A huge difference and an impact in our environment. And also for you, Mr. Beckles, uh, any closing comments? Um, I just want to encourage all of us uh, in Trinidad and Tobago um, to be um, better stewards of the environment um, because we depend on the environment for our socio-economic well-being. The environment has been good to us. Let us be good to it. Well said. Thank you again. Certainly a pleasure chatting with you. Always a